Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a foreigner's life in the Philippines. Just a small video to let you know we haven't fallen off the face of the earth. I hear something back here. Monorado chopping his way through the forest. Good morning, neighbors on the hill. It'll be so nice to have this finished one day. I have to put a slight angle on it out here and then we're going to put a radius coming up meeting the existing concrete there. Somewhere here, we'll put in a an anchor post for a gate. A gate that'll span across the driveway here. Let me back up a little bit so you can see it. Sorry, I just woke up. Man, it's been really good resting. I think Jessica's still sleeping. She's not feeling the best. The other night we took her to um, hmm, someone who cares for the, I know they had a lot of children there. Let's just say it like it is, give, it a, give her a treatment from a local. And hopefully she's feeling some better this morning. Well, I'm so happy with the rendering. If I can get things tidied up a little bit today without getting interrupted. Nah, there's really not interruption. It's just other things that needed to be done. But interrupted, so to speak. We might just uh, do a little cement work on our own here. We had quite the brownouts here. And uh, we managed to get food in our bellies and even... kettle there for hot water for my coffee and the kids is hot chocolate the guy that rendered it made just really cleaned up that little area it was such a ragged messy little area looks really nice now I wonder what I can find in the Philippines to clean that concrete, make it all nice and white again. That little area, it's just part of it will turn white. The rest of it's burnt because it was high noon, the sun beating down on it and uh, get a smooth finish on it. I burned it hand trawling, can you believe it? It is what it is. If I don't like it, I can knock it out of there and start over. <laughs> we'll finish some of the other stuff first. A couple of
couple times a day I pour water on here because sun beating down on it gets really hot. So far, so good. These guys that helped me with this floor and they did the rendering also, they're really good guys, hard working right on top of the next move, except there's just some moves they didn't know, and hence the puddles. I used to do this for many years straight, and we could get a great big floor down where there were just a few tiny puddles, and if they were puddles, they were Maybe like that one, and that's six inches in diameter. Comes with experience. And if someone taught them, or they can even go on YouTube and look at the different methods for leveling concrete and getting it straight. But in America, we have these jitter bug floats. Now, I don't know if I'm using the correct term or not, but I think they might be six foot, 10 foot, 12 foot floats you can get, aluminum floats. And it has a, best way to explain it would be, um, weed eater motor on the back of it. And it vibrates this thing and you just put, man, oh, that's a nice level floor. I mean, it just pushes the rock down and brings, the, cream to the top and you float it once and trowel it and you're done and you have a nice flat floor but I'm happy with this one might have to put a piece of wood or cardboard or something under the furniture when you set it but whoopie doo what I have in mind for the finished floor is paint chips power wash the floor get it clean dirt grease grime whatever and you paint it with a latex paint you spread your chips your paint chips and you sweep it off get it clean again and then you pour down or lay down your um, epoxy take a squeegee level it and let it fill in the pores by itself and you have a nice, durable floor. I mean, this thing will take a beating. And you can expect we're gonna have skateboards, rollerblades, who knows? They'll maybe even try ice skates on it. <laughs> Joking. But it sounded good. Who knows, maybe I'll push the floor joist up today. wonder if that'll show through in the skim coat or you fill it in first and then come back with the skim coat they don't have many of these but there's a few places that cracked
my guess is it dried too fast and shrunk. Wow, it so, feels so good to have lines, straight lines, instead of these jagged block looking up, staring back at you. Thank God. Well, anyway, let's take a peaceful look at the opposite end of the sunrise. <laughs> Now, and realistically, in my mind, this seems like east, but we're actually looking west. Because the sun comes up right over there. You can see behind that cardboard. Whoops. Anyway, the sun comes up over there and it sets over here. But coming from another part of the world, just walking in here, my first instinct was that seems like east, but it didn't set well with me. So when the sun came up, that was the telltale sign it was like. All right, that has to be east. Anyway, video's long enough. They're really hard to upload when they get past eight minutes or 10 minutes. Thanks for checking in, guys. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.